Welcome to Yucca Valley's annual Starry Nights Festival. This is the 16th annual starting here in 2012, and we're celebrating the event that happens in Yucca Valley every year where astronomers and famous uh, astronomy interested people come and they share time here at the community center sponsored by the High Desert Nature Museum here in Yucca Valley, California. My name is Tom O'Key. I am with the Southern California Desert Video Astronomers, and we are here to share our abilities in astronomy with the audience, who is the citizens of Southern California who come here to this event. In a moment, I'm going to be speaking for uh, uh, Dark Skies on behalf of the IDA, and uh, we'll be inside. Uh, you're welcome to join us. What do you think of it? If you will take this microphone away, can we turn the lights down, please? Our group, SEDVA, is very pleased to be part of this event. We came out here, uh, personally I came out here about a, a decade ago and met some amateur astronomers. And under this dark sky, I became associated with these astronomers. And that's turned into what we're doing here tonight. The people who are, are part of our group, are uh, just actually a small remnant of the group we originally were. We've lost a lot of members. Uh, they were the founders of our group, and I've picked up from where they started, and now we are who they were, and we are what they wanted us to be, and one of our members was Ken Keller. And Ken was uh, a rough guy, he was a rough guy, but he loved the night sky, and one day he said, Tom, you got 15 bucks? And I said, yeah. He said, give to me, you know, a member of the Andromeda Society. <laughs> and that was where it started. But he was an ardent member of the IDA, the International Dark Skies Association. Ken went around town here and he, he shaded people's lights for free. He made it his own little personal effort to run around and try and make skies darker. And he gave me my very first membership in the International Dark Skies Association. I want to tell you that, you know, the astronomy we do out here is possible because we can see the night sky. I imagine the story kind of goes like, Dad, what's a star? And Dad goes, well, you know, I can see like the sun, you know, the sun. Goes, well, Dad, aren't there lots of stars? And Dad goes, yeah, there's lots of stars, Billy, you know, yeah. Why can't we see the stars, Dad? I don't want everybody to think about that. Now, why can't we see the stars? And, our group, the Southern California Desert Video Astronomers, our mission is to promote dark skies. We started with that mission. It's been our mission. Kent Keller started that mission, and we carried that mission forward. We're so pleased now to actually be a recognized official chapter of the International Dark Sky Association here for the High Desert Region of San Bernardino County. And as a result of being involved in that, there's another group called the Rongo Basin Dark Skies Alliance. And that group has just recently written a new county ordinance that's about to be approved for the Desert Legion to help try and keep our skies dark so that we can see the Milky Way here. And if you imagine only being, say, about an hour and a half from downtown Los Angeles, to be able to come to a place where you can look up and still see the Milky Way, the Summer Triangle, and actually, with your own eyes, see a little pair of stars called Alberio. And know what you're seeing, understand what that is, to see, you know, the beauty of what we are so connected to. And this event is the 16th annual Starry Nights event. We personally have been involved in this as a group for six years. We go back to when everybody would start gazing in the backwards park because it was a dark place. And people would go up there and everybody would ride a bus from here to community center and they would all go up there where all the telescopes were. Because the skies were very dark, <coughs> that is diminishing. It got to the point where it really wasn't worth going up there anymore. So we've changed it. Now what we do is we do video astronomy. We hook very sensitive video cameras to our telescopes and we can look at things in an incredible way, in full color, in real time, and show people cosmos. But it does require darkness. The darker it is, the better we can show you. Since we have a moonless night tonight, uh, we uh, brought some special equipment, some of the kind of equipment that allows us to be able to project very dark images. And those dark images, hopefully, we'll achieve tonight. It's delicate equipment. We bounce it around a truck, get it here. We'll cross our fingers, make sure everything works. We have our old system as a backup in order to be able to do it. We have some guests with us tonight out here. Some of the fellows from the uh, 
uh, Los Angeles City College Dean and Paul brought one of their telescopes, and they're going to be our uh, our guides to the sky tonight. And so we have a couple professors of astronomy with us who are going to give us a little sky tour. But I want to thank everybody who participates in this event. I want to thank everybody who loves the dark sky. I want to tell you that the IDA needs your support. You know, around the world, people need to realize the value of dark skies, and little by little, we're learning the health benefits of having a dark sky, the benefit to nature and to uh, the ecology, and just the beauty of letting our children see what we all saw when what our father saw, and at one time, before technology, and it's an important mission. Uh, right now, there's a, a deal coming from the Sky Safari people. They're donating uh, a lot of proceeds from the Sky Safari. So if you've got an iPhone or an Android phone, you can get Sky Safari on there. It allows you to look at the sky in incredible detail, learn the sky. And as you learn, you become a friend of the sky. And as you become a friend of the sky, you'll fight for the sky. And these folks are helping the IDA. So I have some paperwork. I want to encourage you to join the IDA. I want to encourage you to come out to our theater, Joshua Tree, and participate and see what we do in astronomy and get a chance to look at this beautiful night nice sky we have and help us defend it.